Raymond Bahand Amadian is an Armenian-American physician, medical practitioner, and inventor of the first Mr. Scanning machine. His research into sodium and potassium in living cells led him to his first experiments with nuclear magnetic resonance which caused him to first propose the Mr. Body Scanner in 1969. Damadian discovered that tumors and normal tissue can be distinguished in vivo by nuclear magnetic resonance because of their prolonged relaxation times, both T1 or T2. Damadian was the first to perform a full-body scan of a human being in 1977 to diagnose cancer. Damadian invented an apparatus and method to use NMR safely and accurately to scan the human body, a method now well known as magnetic resonance imaging. Damadian has received several prizes. In 2001, the Lemelson MIT Prize Program bestowed its $100,000 Lifetime Achievement Award on Damadian as the man who invented the MRI scanner. He went on to collaborate with Wilson Grach, one early developer of the implantable pacemaker, to develop an MRI compatible pacemaker. The Franklin Institute in Philadelphia gave its recognition of Damadian's work on MRI with the Bauer Award in Business Leadership. He was also named Knights of Barton 2003 Man of the Year. He received a National Medal of Technology in 1988 and was inducted in the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 1989. Biography Equals Early Life Equals, Damadian was born in New York, to an Armenian family. He earned his bachelor's degree in mathematics from the University of Wisconsin Euro Madison in 1956 and an M.D. degree from the Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York City in 1960. He studied the violin at Juilliard for eight years. Equals magnetic resonance imaging equals. Damadian's early work on NMR concerned investigating potassium ions inside cells. He found that the potassium relaxation times were much shorter compared with aqueous solutions of potassium ions. This suggested that potassium was not free but complex to a euro fixed Shigia euro unregistered trademark counter ions, as he had previously determined. He and other researchers independently investigated the signals of one hour NMR in cells, and found that the relaxation times were much shorter than in distilled water. This was consistent with ordering of a large part of the water by adsorption onto macromolecular surfaces. Damadian predicted that cancerous cells would have longer relaxation times, both because of the disordering of malignant cells and because of their elevated potassium levels, since the potassium ions would be a euro structure breaking a euro unregistered trademark to the ordered water fraction. In a 1971 paper in the journal Science, SUNY Downstate Medical Center Professor Damadian reported that tumors can be detected in vivo by nuclear magnetic resonance because of much longer relaxation times than normal tissue. He suggested that these differences could be used to detect cancer, even in the early stages where it would be most treatable, though later research would find that these differences, while real, are too variable for diagnostic purposes. However, Damadian in his seminal paper claimed only that his method was a detection tool, making no claim about being a diagnostic tool, but intended that it would provide a non-invasive way of detecting cancers and monitoring the effectiveness of their therapy. According to a Wall Street Journal article, Damadian's initial methods were flawed for practical use, relying on a point-by-point -point scan of the entire body and using relaxation rates, which turned out to not be an effective indicator of cancerous tissue. However, the same article pointed out, a Euro OE nevertheless, his observation of T1 and T2 differences in cancerous tissue was a eureka moment for Paul Lauterbur a Euro furthermore, Damadian's seminal paper documented in its table 2 that T1 relaxation times were different, beyond experimental uncertainty, across all his samples over different healthy tissues, rectus muscle, liver, stomach, small intestine, kidney, and brain. This showed the way to accurate imaging of the body's soft tissues for the first time. X-ray imaging was severely deficient for soft tissue analysis because the difference in absorption was so small. 